I've got the Google Pixel 2 XL that is currently running the Android Q Beta 3. And today I'm going to show you how to force dark mode in all of the applications that you currently have installed on the device. So with the introduction of Android Q Beta 3, the dark mode feature is now official. As you can see, I'm currently running light mode, but if you go into display, you're going to see a theme option here that lets you change from light to dark mode. And that's nice. That changes things like the quick settings panel, your notifications, and the settings application. But it's not going to change any of your other applications you have installed. You can see there was Google Play, the Google app itself. Now all of these apps do not have a dark mode feature. But there is a way in Android Q Beta 3 to force dark mode in a number of applications. So far, the ones that I've all the ones that I've tested have changed to a dark mode theme. Now, I do want to say that this feature might not make it into the official version of Android 10. It is currently it was currently introduced in Android Q Beta 3. It could even be removed in Android Q Beta 4. I just want to show you this feature. Hopefully, it stays in there. Google has a history of taking a lot of features out, especially these type of experimental features out, before the official version is released, no matter how useful they are. So to enable this feature, we need to enable developer mode. Once developer mode is enabled, we can then go into developer options. And from here, we want to scroll, oops, we basically want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to scroll back up a bit. You're going to look for an option called Override Force Dark. And it's just a simple toggle. Again, it's toward the bottom. And once we toggle this feature on, it's going to override the force dark feature to always be on, but it's going to be doing it to all applications. So now, once we go back here, like I said, when I showed you before, Google Play did not does not have a dark mode option right now, but with that t toggle in developer options enabled, whenever I open the Google Play Store, you can see it is forcing dark mode on that application. I have to say it's done it really well and it does it across a lot of applications really well. Here is a cheap uh, smart plug that I bought off Amazon a while back. Normally this is a, just a regular white application but is now in, in dark mode. Works on Google's apps. So your first party pre-installed applications will now be in dark mode, as well as your third party applications that you are installing from the Play Store. Again, here's another Google app, but as I just showed you, the Smart Life app, again, used to be white. All of these apps are now getting a dark mode because of that toggle. And naturally, at, at any time, you can come in here and disable the feature. Again, I do want to stress that this is a an experimental feature. And again, it could go away at any time. It could improve through subsequent updates of the Android Q beta. But as you can see, whenever I open up the Google Play Store, the status bar icons are still black. Even when we go back to here, we have status bar icons that are white. You can see our status bar icons here are black, but only in some situations. 
So again, very beta feature. That's why it's t uh, hidden and tucked away in the developer options uh, menu. And again, at any time, you can always go back through here, go back into developer options. And you can turn this feature back off. It's very quick, very easy to do. You don't have to do a reboot or anything. And all of your applications will go back to a light mode with the feature toggled off. So there you have it. That is how to force dark mode on third-party applications even though they don't support it themselves.